What's going on guys? Part two of the trailer restoration build. We are actually trying to do this as quick as possible. Get this thing sold. So I ordered a bunch of stuff last night. I ordered a new trailer tongue. The one it came with was a one by seven eighth inch and wanted the two inch. So we ordered that. We got a conjunction box and the seven pin connector for the trailer lights and uh, trailer brakes because they're all electronic and stuff. Also, we ordered I think like 700 total feet of wiring for all the trailer lights. And then we're gonna go through, after we get all these boards off, hopefully today, and go ahead and test every single trailer light to find out which one's not working, which ones have to be replaced. That way we can make a list and get those ordered and on the way. Tires or wheels, that is the hard one. I don't really know what we're going to do. So it is a seven by 14 and a half inch wheel, which is an old style camper or trailer wheel. And I think I saw that low boy trailers. So the heavy, heavy equipment trailers that, you know, semi trucks haul tow, they use them as well, but they're like a hundred dollars a tire. I was hoping to avoid paying that. So we're gonna go ahead once this is once the deck is finished and it's gonna be painted, we'll go more detail on that after I figure that all out. But everything that's ordered is installed on this trailer. We're gonna go ahead and post this thing up for sale and try to see if we can sell it with the tires that are on it. They are good, they hold air and everything. They're just a little old. Process now, last time you guys saw, this had all the boards on it. As you can see, there are, I think, two missing boards. I went ahead and cut all these, which were just sticking right in here, then you just take a hammer and you hit them out. So we're gonna be replacing all the bolts, replacing all the boards. I'm gonna wire wheel this whole thing once we get all this wood off. Spray it down with some sort of bed liner or some sort of paint or something like that just to make it look nice. Don't forget about our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Here is a brand new, never used, in the box, doubled in car stereo with GPS, subwoofer outputs, and even a rear backup camera. Comes with everything free of charge to you. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, a screenshot of it or a picture if you're using your TV and send it over to the underscore Gotti's Garage on Instagram and at 5,000 subscribers one of you lucky ones will be chosen at random and then you get to enjoy a brand new double gen car radio from Gotti's Garage. So enjoy the rest of this video. Don't forget to subscribe. All right guys so I got all the boards off. It was not fun <laughs> but we did it and I'm kind of sweaty so but we did it in one Sawzall blade, which is kind of impressive. It was uh, getting pretty dull towards the end from hitting this frame rail. We didn't cut into the frame rail at all. So now what we gotta do is take these out. I was using a, I was using like a pry bar, smacking it with a hammer to just split it. This time around I'm gonna use this big chisel and uh, pretty much just split it right where the bolts are. That way we can just knock these out. And we're gonna go ahead and do that to all of them to get nothing but bare frame. And then we're gonna take the angle grinder and cut the tops off of all the bolts. All right guys, we got the heater up blowing because it's cold in here. Uh, as you guys saw in the time lapse, we got the boards all gone. We got the little pieces of chunks of wood, which you guys did not see. We got all those gone. And then I just went ahead and cut all the heads off of the bolt. Just take a little sludge. And we have to go and knock every single bolt out. All right, so we got all the studs taken out. And I just cut a couple wires just to see. So as far as I know, well, not as far as I know, but so far that tail light, that tail light doesn't work. The running light right there works. The running light over there does not work. The running light right here does not work. The running light right here does not work. Now the best way to test that, because we don't have a truck, we're in a garage, and uh, we don't have even a plug-in for that. So you can take a regular, so there's a 20 volt battery. So you can just go ahead, cut the wires, strip them, put the positive on B plus, and the negative on B, you know, minus. And that will actually turn the light on, which I can show you over here. That light is on, now it's off. And that is just using a regular battery. So we got some wiring to do, but I got 700 feet of wire coming, all different colors, so that way we can keep everything nice. We'll be able to rewire this whole thing, so it has nice lights. There's gonna be a junction box right up there in the front between the frame rails. So I forgot to mention, we do have a jack coming. It's a well done jack, so we gotta figure out where we wanna put that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like the video so it gets out there more. Hit that subscribe button. You guys stay different. I'll see you guys next time.